Okay, we are on part three of this chickadee painting. Well, let's see what, if we can get more of this done. What I'd like to do is um, add some fluffiness here. So I'm going to go back into those colors. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to make feathers. Touch and lift. See if I can save that. I have nothing on the brush right now. I'm just trying to make that look more like feathers. And uh, one thing you don't want to do is have everything the same. And that's what it's looking like. So we're going to go in and correct that. Just, just kind of bring that back to what it was. I'm trying to show a shadow here. That's not working. You know why? Because I don't have enough paint on my brush. Okay, this will probably work better. Yeah, that does. All right, but now I have to try to reestablish the other color. I think I'll, before I do that, I'll just add it through here too. Okay, now let's get that other color established. to try to find a miracle color and a miracle color is actually a mixture of just what you already have on the palette it's a color that you would never be able to mix again maybe and there it is that's what I wanted okay I'm happy with that so now I'm going to move on to the wings now the upper part of the wings is lighter than, and it's almost as light as this part of the bird. It's actually more like a darker value than mid-tone. So, it's darker than this but it's not as dark as the cap, the chickadee's cap. And there's a lot of wings to this uh, birdie. He's got areas that I could really go crazy on, and I have in the past, and it's just gotten me into trouble. So I'm being very careful to try to just group things together. Now, when I cheat, when I finish my cheating, and I'm going to start it in a minute, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go into the light color, and I have my palette knife. And I'm going to begin putting in the wings that I see that would that I would have to take a little brush and spend forever and a year doing. Okay, I got a glob that I didn't want. Let's see if I can build on that. That's what I call my cheating. And I can actually 
go into this a little bit here. Now I just have to get his tail feathers and we're working on that right now. And of course the tail feathers that are below are going to be dark. This a little bit lighter right there. Okay, now I'm happy with that. Um, now I'm, I'm going to work on the um, feet. So, and I'm going to just tap in right on top of what I've already painted. And a little bit here. Now, just to kind of tighten it up, I'm going to get right there. Okay. And now that looks more like. Okay, get a clean brush and kind of grab that. What I'm trying to do here is make it look like a claw, tip, the tip of the bird's claw. Okay, I'm almost there. Okay. Use a different end of the scratch out tool. So now I'm going to paint in the darkest dark of the eye again. I actually had it. Let's grab some of this color off of here. Okay, and just get in here again with the scratch out tool. And I think we got it. That looks good to me. Thank you for watching Stay at Home Artist. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. Okay, I've lost most of my light, but I wanted to uh, bring you back. I did make some changes. I adjusted the foot. I softened the rear of the bird, like right here. Let me get a brush handle. Right there, I adjusted the foot. The foot just didn't look right, so I made some adjustments. Um, I made the top of the chickadee uh, lighter. And the biggest thing that you might notice is this branch. And I actually cut in a little bit here to make a suggestion of a branch coming down. 
Um, it's very natural to read from left to right. You would read a painting from left to right because you're taught to read a book from left to right. Um, therefore, it's very easy for the eye to come into the painting from the left and go right on out on the right. And in some cases in the past, I have actually smudged up this area to make it less in focus. But what I did do this time is I created a branch to bring you back in and around to the painting. And so that would be the last thing I'd want to say. I'm holding this camera instead of it being on a tripod. There is too much light coming in here, a reflection, but I wanted to just point that out.